control, folks. Duck and truck, truck and duck, express. I'm back again. Like another video with the freight liner. Cascadia, I think is what it's called. Based up last time, I think is what it's called. It's got a 610 horsepower motor in it, I think, and using way too much fuel. I know this last two or three runs I made with it, I made some runs on the Premier Transport VTC. About run out of fuel every load. I think I began to just sucking her up. But we're on our way down to pick us up a little old dozer. I think we're gonna pull us a dozer. We're gonna pull it from Yuma down here in Yuma to uh, Barstow. So it should be nice traveling. The weather looks good, no rainstorms. And that kind of stuff. Nah, that sure is different for us, Russ. I tell you what, that, that, that's really different there. I don't know if you can drive on a dry road or not. I think I'll be all right around. Right I mix those colors up, that's uh a bit darker in my room than my van. It's almost uh, almost brown. I was going for maroon. I got I got new rims on it. Thanks to some mods uh, on the T Rex helped me get and told me about the alloy wheels and all that kind of stuff. So uh, Looking good, ready to get in here and get a load and get on the way. Oh, that's right there's the UPS stopper right there. I, I ordered some. Yeah, you wait to get you out for real. I don't know what that guy is doing, though. What the hell? Nah, it looks like he got that truck up on blocks or something. Just don't look right there. There's something right there, Russ. Yeah, I don't check that road. Yeah, you feel her be all right. Looks like we got fellas down all over the place to help us here get hooked on. Nah, that's good for a change. Don't look back to that one much. How do you know we ain't helping much? Well, don't look back to it.
plenty of people everywhere. <laughs> we have to stop here and see if we go and jump in front of us. <laughs> well, I hope not. I don't think you would, but you can't tell by these uh, crazy people nowadays. They're real rusty. People, have you been keeping your eyes on the news? They're gone. Ain't some crazy people in this world. I don't care if they're red, white, blue, green, yellow, purple, black, yellow. Don't matter what color they are. I've seen uh, all colors there screaming hotter. Taking them monuments and statues down from the city when the Civil War had been there 100, 150 years or longer. And all of a sudden they bother them. Pulling them down. It reminds me of the scenes where the troops went into Iraq and, and all the Iraqi people went to throwing ropes around them. Saddam Hussein statue just went to pulling them down, kicking them, stomping them, but I guess his deserved that, but these over here, they they stomping and spitting on them, kicking them, hurting people, killing people. And when you see it on the news, it looks like you're watching one of those uh, horror movies, one of them scary movies, all them people standing around there screaming and chanting like a bunch of witches or something like that. Chanting the same thing over and over and over. And it's just, it's just crazy. What are they gonna do next? Take down the big old Washington Monument or maybe take Lincoln off the, off of these uh, Capitol buildings uh, front porches or whatever they call those. They take him off there where everybody rubs his foot for luck. It's just it's just crazy. You turn on the news and people just kicking and uh, hollering and pulling things down and cheering. And I ain't never seen nothing like it in my life. I've been here a long time. I don't even know what's there, but it runs. Yeah, it's the craziest thing I ever seen. I, I wouldn't have a clue about it. Damn people, they ain't got no sense. And they need to find them a job, find them something to do, Rush. I think that's what it is, Rush. That might be some of it, but apparently they ain't got nothing to do at all. You know, people, if it wasn't for the news media, standing there with cameras and telling everybody that there was going to be a protest tonight and all this and that and, and getting all those people together. If there was no cameras there and nobody reported it, I don't think they'd stand out there in that hot sun, kick and jump and beat on the statues. They'd be somewhere laid up in the shade playing their video game. They wouldn't be doing that. That's my opinion. You can't tell me your opinion. Well, if it's real bad, your opinion, we don't want to hear it. Think you get in trouble? They didn't bother nothing when uh, President Obama was in office and my, them statues didn't bother nobody then. They ain't bothered nobody for uh, hundreds of years. And all of a sudden, man, they awful. I just don't know. Well, that's my little 
a little ran on that. You know. I don't think it's going to get better. I think it's going to get worse. It's just going to get so bad that a man can't go out of the house without having some protection with him. Because you never know when the crazy bullet is going to start beating the windows out of your car or something. Like that. No matter what you car they beat the windows out of it. They're going to beat it out of the wrong fellas when the, uh, the wrong fellas car went in one of these days. Yeah, that's right, that's right. If they ever took my car, they would send it back up. I see you right around. Big flashing lights from a Big T. You find them on the workshop. You can find them go above, well, they'll go anywhere. They go above the cab, on the sides, in the front, wherever you want to put them. Flags you can get from Harvin on the workshop. We've not got no flags on here today. Now you got them down good there today, Rusty. two-part adventure. It took about a hour, I think, to do this run. I could have cut a lot out, but I didn't. We'll have to make a two-parter out of it. It all looked good, so I didn't know what to cut out of it. Now yeah, you think it all looked good on Rusty? Well, I thought it did, right? Nah, that didn't look pretty good. <laughs> you didn't watch none of it yet? <laughs> no, it's not done yet. We're still driving. <laughs> Easy, though. People talk about you being real cussing going on all the time. Straight yourself up. <laughs> Got me a mouth mod, a GPS mod. On, I guess, I can't remember if I got it on the workshop or ATS mod side. But anyway, maybe the workshop, but it's, uh, I don't know if I like it or not. The red line hanging down, I like the thing up at the top, tells you how fast you're going and all that stuff. But. I don't know if I like that line hanging down on it. 
gets coffee time, fellas. Everybody at home, get your coffee out there, your tea or whatever you like to drink. Your green tea, coffee. Diet Mountain Dew. All that stuff. Pebbles truck in the back seat with um with the duck. Um and Rusty and Ralph. And Ralph. Cool. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. That was my eight-year-old granddaughter. She came in the room and come out of the sleeper to talk to us a while with all that the big black hair she's got. But she come up here to chat with us a bit, and now she's going back there and fight with the devil. Another game last day or two fooling around with it beam and G about cars, roads, and four wheel drives all for roads and that gets actual damage every time you hit some gets bent fenders and it'll tear all the fuses where they ain't hardly a car left but I ain't found, I ain't tried no missions or nothing yet, or no races. Might film some of them one of these days. When I figure out what what I'm doing on the game, they got a heavy haul, and they got a tanker haul. You got to try to haul a tanker. It's got somewhere you got to try to deliver a car with two people trying to, two other cars trying to stop you from getting there with it. So. I ain't tried none of them missions yet. It's B E B E A M N G. Um, looks like a pretty good little game. It drives real good. The force feedback and all that stuff works good on the G27. So I had some fun with it the last couple of days when I wasn't driving my truck here, trying something different, doing that. I've got, I got 23, 23 or 24 games and I only make, only make videos out of about two or three of them. But, but I've got all kinds of them. Take on helicopters. I've got that new airplane game or fly around the world. I've never played yet. I've got a lot of them that I've never even played. Now just said them keys, Doug, just said them keys, I bought me a new car this weekend. I want to get my wealth. And I bought that Cadillac that around on anything. What I bought, we got plenty of money, so I bought that big Cadillac. I 
might even not run the Camaro I think. They had it on that uh, Top Gear. One time it's a bad machine, run about 150, 160 pound there. I keep the keys with me, can't try to keep the woman out of it. I don't want to get killed, brother, I got the other one. Yeah, Ralph, you better off behind them keys. This editing here, I gotta watch it because uh, I gotta rewatch the whole thing because things get moved out of the way, some get moved out of line somewhere, somehow. All of a sudden, you'll have a, you'll have the tattoo skeleton and no way. You gotta watch that stuff. Just something that happens, I guess. Mm, yeah, it's fun to work in that program, my Rusty. I like it awful good. You don't help a whole lot, but are you getting sleepy, Rusty? I hear you yawning. I'm getting a little tired there, Al. Man, that sounds like you've taken out every few minutes. Yeah, getting old, Al. I ain't that old, Rusty. About a hundred, hundred ten old, you just midlife. If it's midlife, that means I was lived to be about a hundred. Close to a hundred and twenty, real. That's long, that's pretty old. Damn, Rusty, you are old. Speaking of old, let me show you three pictures of my grandson playing with a thirty year old fire truck. Bought that for my son for Christmas, probably over 30 years ago. Been there a while. I took those pictures this week when he first seen it. Boy, he went wild. We're going to have to fill this hungry rascal up. Now, yeah, I'll get out there and fill her up, Rosie, no problem. I want you, Ralph. This thing got some good looking rubber on it, got some good looking tires on her. I like that color old rusty picked out there. No, I'm not told myself, Tug. 
Now you just never mind what I'm done with do. Folks, we're going to leave it right here in just a minute. I see a crane swinging around there and there. We're going to leave it right here. Thanks for watching this truck and duck express. Come back and see us again, y'all here. Like I said, if the creeks don't ride and the good Lord's will, I'm going to be back. Bye-bye.